Right, hello everyone. So what I'm going to show you here is, um, after I move this filthy cup, which has been there for days, um, I'm going to show you sort of the basic um, way of running a Pandora without all that fancy operating system and everything. So here we have the battery. I think you've seen one of these before. And it goes in. And it can go in like that. And then that, we're already seeing the Pandora boot up on the screen. This is how long it takes to boot um, in sort of minimal mode. You can see it all there. And there you go. Right, I'm going to have to put this battery um, cover on and this may well make it reset. Very carefully trying not to knock the battery out. Very good. This cable you can see in the back here goes to a board here which has a, allows us to speak to the Pandora via this serial cable and into the back of the PC and I'm using um, Hyper Terminal. Right, so Pandora here command console here. This may be boring for many of you but the first thing to do is I've got two SD cards in the unit and we need to mount the second SD card which it knows is there but it has to be mounted but to save time I've put the mount command into the paste. So there we are so that mounts SD2 then we need to move into SD2 so And there we are, and then, well, you know all this, I'm sure. So what I've got on there is, as you can see, oh, maybe you can't see, name. So we do, pop back in. Jump into name. There's nothing on the Pandora screen here, but a penguin, by the way. I'm sure eventually when you boot into this mode, you'll be able to get the console up on here, which will be a lot easier, but a lot of the dev Developers still don't have um, an easy to use keyboard system. Right, so and then we can run MAME. And then we say, Jesus Christ. Sorry about that. The phone rang. Pakistani call centre. Brilliant. Right, um, anyway, as I was saying, we're going to run um, Outrun which is a bit of a favourite game of mine from my um, very young childhood. I think probably the first game that really sort of wowed me in the arcades was Outrun and was one of the main things that went to run in here. So, we're going to need Cyclone and Dr. Z80 and I think that should be what it takes to run Outrun. Yes. Right, so we press any key. And wrap it up. Yay! And there we have it. Outrun on the Pandora. Now, another thing I want to bring up is people moaning about the hinge. There's always going to be something to moan about. Um, if I get the stylus out of this Pandora, I want to show you something. Right, the screen. Look, it's not going to fall over if you use the stylus on it. I can throw the stylus at it. A stylus is not going to knock a screen over. You'd have to press it pretty hard to make that screen move. You'd probably be borderline damaging the screen. Okay, and this brings me, of course, on to the hinge. Um, I don't know what else you really want us to show about the hinge, but it, I mean, it works fine. There's plenty of resistance in it, you can push the system around by the hinge but there's not so much that it gets stiff um, but I sat yesterday playing on it with the hinge like this about at that angle yesterday for a good hour and it was fine um, the resistance seems just right, there's not too much, there's not too little it's just what you would expect, it's what we thought it would be 
So, oh, that's Wardner on there. If you've never played Wardner, it's a really, really good platform game that you can play in main. Um, right, so you've seen all that. You've seen um, sort of the basics of how it works and everything. Now, the one thing I've not shown you is the nubs. That's going to require emulating something slightly more recent. 